You remember, maybe about six, seven years ago, there was a there was a terror attack in a shopping centre in Kenya. You guys remember this, right? Um, I'm not laughing at it because obviously it was horrific. But um, what scared me was after it happened, the Kenyan government put out a worldwide wanted alert for who they thought was a ringleader. I don't know if anyone here remembers who it was, but it was a white woman called Samantha Luthwaite, right? Her nickname was the White Widow. And that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> When the most dangerous and wanted person on the planet is a white woman, something is terribly fucking wrong with the world. Like, is there no one we can trust anymore? Like, even white women are now a threat to security. And I'll be honest, for a few months after it happened, white women were scaring the fuck out of me, man. Remember one incident in particular. Late one evening, me and my little brother, we were on our way home from watching a football game. And we were walking down a particularly dark street. And then I noticed there was a white woman walking towards us. <laughs> Fucking shit myself, man. Like, what sort of backwards, twisted world are we now living in when two six foot black guys and a white woman by herself are walking towards each other down a dark street and the two black guys cross the fucking road, man? She looks dodgy as fuck, innit, bruv? I know. <laughs> this neighbourhood is going downhill. So. Mm. so, yeah. So, that's why I know I just make jokes about that shit, man. You know, don't be scared, just make jokes, right? I know sometimes in improv, my girlfriend gets really annoyed that I make jokes about that shit. Like, um, a few years ago, for, for our anniversary, I, I decided to be romantic and I took to Bruges for a little romantic getaway, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I've got Groupon. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> end of our holiday, we're flying back from Brussels Airport, right? I'm going to security. I go first, get my passport, my boarding pass, I get cleared, I get sent on my way, right? And then my girlfriend goes up. Now, what you need to know for this story is my girlfriend, uh, she's Indian, right? Yep, that's correct. <laughs> I'm black, my girlfriend's Indian, so straight away, I know what you're thinking. And the answer is no, her dad doesn't know. <laughs> uh, it's a joke, it's a joke, isn't it? I have met her family, okay? All 750,000 members. It's just, it's, hey, so many cousins. Woo. <clears throat> so, my girlfriend goes up, gives her a passport, her boarding pass. The security officer looks at my girlfriend, looks at the passport, then he goes, uh, sorry, miss. We're going to have to do some uh, extra security to validate your passport. So they pull her over to one side. Now, at first, I didn't think anything of it. Well, fine. Minor procedure. Should be back soon. No big deal. Just relax, Neif. But then, about five minutes later, I noticed three other people had also been pulled over for extra security. And they also happened to be brown-skinned Asian people like my girlfriend, right? Now, I know the current world we're living in. The world's on high alert when it comes to security. I get that. But at the same time, this is like the most blatant piece of racial profiling I've ever seen in my life. Like, if anything, I was offended for my girlfriend. <laughs> However, <laughs> as offended as I was, I'm not going to lie, there was a large part of me that was looking at it thinking, thank fuck, it's not black people anymore. <laughs> oh, moved up the ladder or what? So, uh, so while my girlfriend has been ushered away from more security, I was busy high-fiving white people, right? <laughs> she ain't finding it funny. 